Hello everybody, Convert with Moss 7.0 is out and it brings, besides several bug fixes, the support for the Contact 4.2 up to version 7. So now we can read all NKI native contact instrument files from all available versions, which is really great. And before going into that and showing you what you can do with, there is currently an interesting discussion running on KVR about the legality of doing file conversion. It actually started not with that topic. <laughs> the topic was that someone posted that he or she provides an online tool for money which converts files which is totally okay but nevertheless it raises some interesting questions and you're clearly not allowed to share copyrighted material with that so for example you cannot get a library converted into a different format and then sell it again this is clearly illegal but for your own stuff, I don't see any issue with that. And there's also some common misconceptions with that. For example, a file format cannot be patented when it is not copyrighted. This holds true basically for all the countries and states I'm aware of. Also, in many countries, it's also legal to do reverse engineering if it's for the sake of interoperability. For example, if you take LibreOffice, it supports all different Microsoft formats, reading and writing, and also the other way around. Or for example, take Bitwig, which can read nowadays also Ableton project files as well as FL Studio project files. So this is absolutely no issue to do so. And even if a company goes out of business or you cannot start your software anymore, you're even allowed to remove copy protections. And at least for the US and Europe, this is actual law. But nevertheless, don't take my word for it. I'm not a lawyer, but that's my current understanding of the situation. And just to mention that again, this holds not true for the content of the file. So if you have copyrighted material in such files, you're clearly not allowed to share that until it's some free content. So also the main intention why I'm writing Convert with Moss is to convert my own assembles to the, the large library I created over the years in different formats and not to be stopped by a vendor login and also to convert free files. You can also get lots of them for also for contact on the internet by people providing them for free. So nevertheless, it's a very interesting read up and having said that, let's jump back to contact. So there was also the, the question, why is it so difficult? And if you're really interested into that, you can read up my documentation, what I could found out so far about this format and big shout out to Monomatic who did all this basic work in understanding this file format and I only added some bits and pieces to it, which what I stumbled into running some test files. There are basically four main formats of the contact file format. There is version one, which has a header and it has an XML file, which is encoded with setlib, so a compression format. Then there is version 2, which was used until 4.1.x, which is the same header around it, but with a different XML structure. I have no idea why they changed completely the XML structure. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's, but it's getting better. So then there was this very funny version 4.2, which used the same information for the header, but the content is no longer an XML file, but it's a new chunk based binary format, which was then also used in the later versions, but in a different surroundings, which is this 567 format, which uses now this new container format, which is now used by all the different software file formats that Native Instruments uses, and they all are wrapped into this container format. But the actual content, the program is the same as in this strange version 4.2. And there's also tons of differences in between these file formats. And yeah, this is really telling about how NE works and why there is so much technical depth with their programs. By the way, all the links I mentioned so far will be also down in the descriptions and you can find them there for easier clicking and looking them up.
Finally, let's have a look at the software, which you can download from my homepage. Also, this link will be down in the description. If you have installed it and run it, also shout out macOS installation is difficult. Read the manual before doing so. And if you start up, you will now be able to also convert the newer contact file formats. And I have a big list of test files collected from my own collection and from the internet which is really unbelievable how many differences are in there. And if you go for it, it will nicely convert them to your selected output format. If you see any errors with that, there are still lots of edge cases. For example, NCV compression of the file format is not fully understood so far. If you have examples filed for that, just get in touch on KVR and let's hope we can fix that as well. What clearly will not work, and I will also not support this, is copy protected files. So if you try to convert one of the sold libraries, which are encrypted, you will clearly get such an error message that the encrypted NKIs are not supported. And I will clearly not go into that direction because there is a reason for that, that they are protected until native instruments might go out of business then that's there's a new topic to look into that maybe finally let's have a little look at what is possible currently with the format so not everything is finished you get all the basic information like all the sample mapping root keys and the usual stuff loops are supported but what's missing currently are envelopes also that's not correct this one is not implemented yet and also pitch envelopes and filters are not there. That's something that needs to be understood even further. And even writing, we're still limited to version one since the format needs to be understood much, much more. So that's it for today. And as I said, if you run in any issue, I would be glad to get some info about the file which causes the issue until it's not a protected one. And until next time, make some funky music.